vlog every time in the car recently. I apologize for the uh, dark lighting. Uh, there's no uh, lights on in the garage here where I work today. So, uh, But it also seems like every time I start, it's always some shitty weather here in uh, Florida or whatever. But uh, I don't know. It's better than uh, what is it, snowing already in Chicago. So, yeah. Let's continue this vlog uh, when we get into some light. All right, the whole purpose of this vlog, it should be pretty quick and simple. Um, it's actually more of a part two of the previous video that I made about the uh, HOA update and eviction. So, um, needless to say, I haven't been evicted or anything yet, but uh, I went to my city ordinance, as I told you guys before in my last video, and just says you really can't make any noise, you know, past, you know, it doesn't say anything about when you can start making noise, or my HOA just says you cannot disturb others. So, uh, but overall, it's Monday morning, and I decided to take my car to work today because I saw rain in the forecast, meaning I didn't feel like getting a shower on my way to work by riding my motorcycle. And as soon as I fire up my car, my neighbors decide to text me and complain, stating that. Up everybody in the neighborhood again, you know, at 5:45 or whatever the hell time it was, and uh, we're gonna go see if we can, you know, maybe get to the bottom of this. Now I've asked this individual two or three, I can't remember, but I know for damn sure it's at least been two times to meet with me, so that we can address the issue and see what he or she wants to do about this issue, because they have this huge issue with my vehicle. And I talked and I see me texted that person back right away and always been immediate contact. Um, and right away, um, and I still haven't got a response, and that was at like 7 30 this morning. So, since they're my neighbors and I can just walk right over to their house, that's what I'm gonna do when I get home. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can get to the bottom of this because if I'm knocking on their door, they really can't afford me. Well, I mean, they can, they can just not answer the door, but that's a little bit more unlikely. So, hoping for the best, you know, let them talk, let them say what they gotta say, and, you know, I don't wanna be hostile or anything, but, like I said, it's been seven months, so, now it's an issue. If it's an issue now, then you provide a new solution. I'm not selling my car, and I seriously doubt you're going to get me out of here before my lease is up. So, we'll see. I will keep you guys updated. Uh, I will try and take the camera with if I can. It may be in my pocket because I don't want to have it all up in his face, but, uh, or her face or whoever the hell else is there since it's the whole neighborhood. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. So, part two of the vlog. Get ready to go. Driving home. See you guys on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish the video up here in the car. I met with the uh, board members. We've come to a mutual agreement that I am going to leave and start my schedule a little bit later. Um, it's a little crazy to think that I'm going to just change my schedule, but you know what? Hey, if that's what I got to do for six months, uh, I'm going to try and do what I can to help out the community. So that was kind of our mutual agreement. I definitely instructed them. I'm not selling my car. I'm not getting rid of my car. You're probably not going to be able to evict me. You're not going to evict me and uh learned that uh, there are some two-faced bitches also within here that like to complain about some of the toys and stuff that i own but yet on fridays and saturdays they come over and shoot the shit with me and talk with me for you know 10 excuse me 10 20 30 minutes about you know oh how cool your car is or how cool your garage is or how cool your bike is and then on monday morning they're bitching and complaining that it makes too much noise, it's too loud, this, that, or the other, you know, so, but it's not even so much that they're complaining about the noise, it's at, you know, 5, 6, and 7 a.m., and that's a little bit, you know, absurd, and as far as I'm concerned, some bullshit, because if you wake up and go to a decent job, you know, that, you know, is, that's first shift, you know, you're going to probably be up at that amount of time, somewhere between 5.30 and 7 a.m. to get to start your job, maybe by 8.00. Um, unless you work right around the corner, then you can leave your house at 7.30. Uh, but I don't, so. Uh, but that's what we're going to go ahead and do, and uh, we're going to try that out. If not, you know, we just got to deal with each other for six months. You know, I've instructed them. I've instructed everyone. I'm out of here in six months. This is not the place for me to live. 
So we'll get to the bottom of it. We'll deal with each other for six months, and then we'll just, you know, be out. And uh, I'll find the, the right place for me to live where I can enjoy my car, I can enjoy my bikes and my other toys and stuff like that. And we don't have to worry about, you know, people so much complaining where I can have a little bit more open space. So they're going to give you guys an update. I shot this video uh, in multiple segments. Uh, this is going to be the final segment. This is going to conclude it. And just wanted to uh, let you guys know exactly what's going on. I don't think I'm going to be evicted. I don't see that at all coming up in time right now but you know hey anything's possible if they do and let me out of my contract uh with my house i look at it as a uh good thing for me because then i get to go start searching for my new house but i don't see that happening i don't see that you know it's a landlord and stuff doing that you know so that's gonna conclude it for today's video uh don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you for another episode on the speed bug channel less stories about things like this and more exciting news deuces guys Oh.